places. And then Did you go to Am- Amsterdam? I went to Amsterdam. I was just about to say, Did you go to I Amsterdam? Went there a couple weeks. Well, yeah, Holy like crap! A month ago. Okay. Yeah, it was awesome. What did you enjoy about it? Uh, legalized marijuana was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> not, I thought that not, was not for a while. Going, I that thought was, that was pretty cool. Part. Let's see. You want you want to do the interview on me? It's totally fine. Just make sure the camera's set up. <laughs> Thanks, man. By the way. Yeah, I want to see one of these. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. So yeah. Are well, you a doctor? Yes. <laughs> PhD. Yes. Yeah. Figures. And what do you? What do you uh, like Biochemistry right. at Georgia Tech. Jesus, you're smart as shit. <laughs> what are you doing out here? Uh, I'm doing. Not that this is a. This is cool. I work at a lab and we break down chemical weapons there. Wow, Dude, that yeah. is awesome. Yeah. So this is just your personal hobby. Just a personal hobby, just like going out and talking to people. I want to oh. show that any two people can have a conversation about. Are you anything. doing like some psychological research on that? No. Uh, really, what it is is um, I'm what compiling like these conversations that people are having. Just to show, like, regardless of what you look like, what your background is, what beliefs you have, any two people can sit at the table and have a conversation with each other. Then That's we, cool. yeah, yeah, I I'm think really so. Cool. It's like really positive, yeah, I think. Yeah, I love and, that. And uh, we have a Facebook group. That, That's actually dope. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, we got good. a we got a Facebook group that we post all these things on. So I'm okay. not the only one doing it. There's like me, maybe like six of the other guys who do this. Okay. Just in Lexington or uh, around the world. That's sweet. Yeah, man. That's awesome. And uh, we'll. Is it like all compiled? All the conversations? Yeah, it is. That's yeah, it is. So like season. every week, we'll like cut out like some of the best clips that we have. And then yeah. if we have like podcasts, or if we have like radio shows or whatever, we'll just say like, here's some really cool conversations you can have with people if you're willing to just, you know, just set talk up to them. Yeah. and talk to people. Yeah. yeah. And I think a lot of people don't know that. So I think it's just a really cool thing to show. So really positive. I have like a pretty easy going vibe. Yeah, Anything you want to talk about. And if not, you want to talk about something I want to talk about, I'm fine. I just don't want to spoil anything. <laughs> How long have you been in Lexington slash why are you still here? About a year and a half. And oh, wow. it's really, really nice. Well, I was working in Knoxville before this. And then after that, I was working in Atlanta. And then after that, I was working in Sweden. And after that, I was working like in some other place. Every year, I've been moving to a different place. Okay. This is the longest I've ever been How'd you in like one Sweden? place. Really, really cool. You want to talk about Sweden? Sure. Holy crap. <laughs> I got there in the summer when it was just... Oh, sorry. By the way, I'm Ty. Nick, nice to meet you. Nick. Jordan. Jordan. Nice, nice to meet you. Me. Nick and Jordan. I got to Sweden in the summer. And sun's up 24-7 over there in the summer because it's so That's high up there. Awesome. First thing I went to was a metal concert. Okay. Metal straight off the the vine because like Swedish is the perfect language to sing metal music in, in my opinion because it's okay. like the it's Viking language man yeah. so like all the it's like, <laughs> they, 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 screaming and anyway. like it's not even screaming and grunting like that's how they talk that's actual like, language, like that's yeah. that's what we're trying to emulate when we do metal like <laughs> oh I get it and what's great is everyone there even like the hardcore metal guys are like so sweet so they'll be like okay thank you very much and the next song is death baby grudge and i was like oh three day three day concert outside metal town is the name okay. of the event that's awesome 72 or like how can't do the math in my head right now help me out tell me that. 78 hours 72 Seven, 72, 72, hours. 72 hours. hours i got it right first time great yep, great, great. Right. 72 hours of non-stop metal music by the second day, you can't even feel your arms. You can't sleep. There's like a campsite nearby yeah. that you can sleep, but you can't sleep because they're playing metal all day. That's and awesome. you're just oh, like wow. vibrating. And by the last day, it's just like, I don't know what it is. It's just an experience. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know what's going on your right now. Your brain just can't turn the metal off. You just can't. And then finally, when I'm coming home, I'm just like, I think I know the way back. And I didn't because I didn't know how to read the signs. Yeah. And their conventions are all different. But yeah, it was a great time, man. Do you travel around anywhere else in Europe? Uh, Denmark and Finland. And those are the only two places. And then Did you go to Amsterdam? I went to Amsterdam. I was just about to say, Did you go to I Amsterdam? Went there a couple weeks ago. Well, Holy yeah, like crap. A month ago. Okay. Yeah, it was awesome. What did you enjoy about it? Uh, legalized marijuana was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> not, I not, thought that was for a while. Going, I thought that was, that was a pretty cool part. Um, what else was pretty cool? I, I mean, I just like the architecture of Europe in general. I think it's prettier than here. What do you think is important about traveling, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, it broadens your perspective on shit. No. Whoa, okay. What do you mean by that? Like, the different places I've gone, I've like, picked up different cultures, you know? Or, like, wanted to pick up different cultures. Like, going to Spanish-speaking countries makes me want to learn Spanish. Yeah? Going to Europe makes me, like, want to live in Europe. It's like, like an yeah. incentive to, like, I guess, broaden who you are as a person. Yeah, and you get to see who does stuff better. Like, Europe's public transportation. Yeah, it is. is yeah, awesome. it is. It's amazing. Yeah, it's so convenient. You can oh, go yeah. country to country for, like, 20 bucks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Which oh, is awesome. Yeah, flights are even crazier. Like, flights are very cheap. Like, 40 yeah, bucks. Because we, we went to... 
is six countries in eight days, so we were just flying, like, going, going, going. And it was super cheap to travel once you got over there. Like yeah. 40, 60 bucks max, any flight or train. And what is that? Is that just the unions in the USA that just make the flight prices so high? Or is it I the cost wonder. of those peanuts? Yeah, that's true, yeah. The cost of peanuts. And the cookies. Something I noticed when I was going overseas is that I thought I knew who I was. Like, if I had to make an outline of who I was, I thought I was pretty, like, aware of where my who I was and who I wasn't. But when I went overseas, I realized that that contrast was a lot more ambiguous in places than I wasn't prepared for. And I'm like, oh, who am I when I don't have a microwave in my home? Can I cook? Like, can I actually cook? Yeah. I've always said I could, yeah. but can I actually do it? Like, what shows do I really miss or what shows do I like? Or if, if everything that I watch is completely different, what new genres am I allowing yeah, myself to like? Yeah, that's a good point. Whoa, fall in love I like with. That a lot. Yeah, I do like that. That was cool. Like, I feel like it gives you an appreciation too for just like everybody and like and like when you're home, it gives you an appreciation for like the things that you miss or like the things that you. That's miss. really really good. Like calling your parents and like yes, thank you. Yeah, exactly. And it's like oh man, like yeah, I missed yeah. you before, but I called you only out of like because I had to. Yeah. yeah but like now your every week call, you know. Yeah, exactly. Check it off the list. Just like, hey, yeah, just knock this out. But now you're like, I really miss you. Yeah. Yeah. And we're sure. really far away. Yeah, definitely. It also makes me feel like the world's a lot smaller than I expected it to. I agree with that. I think that's cool how like we live in an age where you can go anywhere you want in a plane flight. That's awesome. Yeah. Just let you able to do so much more stuff. Yeah, it is pretty cool. All right. Explain your chemical weapon thing to me. Ooh, yeah. I can't to an extent uh, well, we got, got a new question let's see if we can get sure. along after but this but there's a website that I can give you that has all the details on it okay yeah um, what do you think about uh, Trump not re-signing the Iran deal uh, so I'm I'm not up to date on politics very much I don't much. care about politics did, I'm just did he do something curious. dumb <laughs> I don't know I got, a, I, got a little, I got a little update on it today on my phone okay I thought since you're into weapons you might be interested I'll tell you what I'm into I'm into video games and cartoons I'm trying to keep it in easy favorite video game Oh, you want to get into that? All right, so <laughs> right now, I just finished XCOM 2. I wouldn't say it's my favorite video game, but goddamn, the way how you can mod games on PC to anything you want. I had all the characters from Mass Effect imported into my XCOM 2, like actual voice packs. So you're really into video games. Yeah, yeah, all the video games. That's cool, yeah, all the yeah, voice packs, cool. all the models, and I'm like, this is my crew. This is hey. my crew, <laughs> and they're finally going, and they permadie. Like, in XCOM, if you lose a soldier, they're dead forever. So, like... Yeah. I forever I, like in well, the video game. Yeah, in the video game, like you have to literally. Like you can never bring it back. You will never have that incarnation of that oh, same wow. character again. That is a gone character. Like the stats you have are unique. The backstory they have is unique. Everything's gone. So like when you lose them, you lose them. They're actually like and it dumb. hurts. Yeah, oh, especially yeah. if it's people they, they you love. <laughs> yeah, there. Are, I know guys who make them after they're like the best friends and their families. Yeah, and when they die, oh, it's wow. like Kevin. Oh, I know we're seeing each other at work, but like you died in my video game, <laughs> and I just want to let you know I love you, man. <laughs> That's cool. But like, as far as news goes, one thing I got like a news feed called Feedly. Uh, yeah, it's just like one of those news aggregator things, okay. but you can filter it to like take out the BS stories. Oh, that's cool. Ooh, I like that. And just have like really positive local stories okay. that like restore your faith in humanity or whatever. Yeah. So that's like, that's actually cool. Needed sometimes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, man. Really cool. All right, hey, it was nice meeting you. Nick? It was nice meeting you. Jordan? What's cool? What you're doing? Wonderful talk. I'm Ty. I'm Ty. Ty? Nice meeting you. Yeah, go for it. Go. (laughs) I got my other videos on there too if you ever want to check them out. Okay, and then what? Okay, you said.